hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Ah oh, shit. Here we go again. Worst place in the world. Sean Page. Miss Hustle ain't coming to play with you. She taking off them Gucci's to walk through a swamp and get some gator boots. It won't be debatable. And Fonz, I know you got the crip and focus, but Gotti talking to the landlord on the 8th like fucking eviction notice. I don't know if you niggas noticed, but fans been complaining like we want the stars. But y'all about to see rum and get loaded and get drunk with bars. Rock, you been punching hard, going crazy this year. You been bringing out the fan in us, but you been losing. And Jerry West about to show how you been scamming us. These bars is scandalous. I'm just trying to promote and make a few points like I want to sit down for jazz and coffee like a juke joint as far as me my ops know I'm the goat that's why they all dead professor x these students is getting schooled by a ball head oh high top fuck them angles I hope you rap in a different way bitch I'm a class act I hope you don't stand in front of the kid and play this should have kicked backwards I'm a June 8th 914 gnome fb EFB going undefeated. Get your pay per view. Psh, this gonna be a movie. You already know what it is. It's your man by the fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Don't be up so upset. One, two, three. One, two, three. You already know what it is, man. It's your man by the fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Don't be so upset. It ain't over yet. Got my guy with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Bow. Mm -hmm. What's the word, man? What's popping with hey, it, man? man listen, Let's man, get to that. One time a week for me is all I need. We need to sum up all of the bullshit that we've accumulated in one full week mm -hmm. and just put it in in this video right here. There's right, a so lot so of bullshit. Talk about it, man. What's the floor is yours, man? What's up, man? What's man, the vibe? What's the vibe? What's the vibe? What's the word? I I I have no idea what's what's going on right now. You know, I I I don't I don't know if if niggas is bootlegging or mm -hmm. whether they shouldn't bootleg. You got people that's gonna be here at the battle and then they don't show up at the battle. Why y'all be giving clean paper money knowing he ain't gonna show? That's just a whole nother situation. Why y'all be giving New Jersey twerk money and y'all don't? All right. Well, I'm just saying this. I just want to say there's a lot of stuff going on in the back ends of battle rap that has nothing to do with battles. Did, did you know that Bill Collector and Take J Rock drop? Did you know that Bill Collector and Chess drop? Ish Mula and 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 uh, and um, Stumbles just dropped. That's all we go hard. Y'all know these battles are like occurring. Do y'all care about any of that? No, because next week is another goddamn battle event, and I gotta pay. Fifty-eight dollars for, and four niggas ain't showing up. <laughs> what exactly is happening right now in battle rap right now? Vada, let me know where we going. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, hey, it's a lot, man. It's a lot of antics going on, man. Um, I think that you know, in college, right? They got what they call an NIL deal, mm -hmm. where they use your name and likeliness to promote the product. Right. And, like the athletes get a cut. They might be doing this in battle rap now, where they just use your name and likeliness to promote a card. But you not gonna be there, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But it's just using you as a promotional tool. I mean they exactly. can do that, they can do that with us, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you can put can. us on there, you can put Vodafly versus, versus Showtime SP. Pay us. Pay us. Promote. And we gonna oh we gonna promote oh, that. We're gonna promote that. But the day of that event? We gonna we gonna be in, he gonna be in Greece and I'm gonna be in San Tropez. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? It just happens that way. But um I think the uh I think the whole spectrum was, uh, uh, it's like this, right? You gotta have, in business, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have a product that's desirable, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And you gotta have a company that's dedicated, you know what I'm saying, in order to push their product. Right. Now, when these companies, some of them are fly-by-night companies, you never mm -hmm. heard of it, like, started today Battle League, you know what I'm saying? Niggas Twitter be having like 300 followers and shit, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And they will feel like, if they gave the word on Twitter that nobody follows that they put the word out, what else do you want us to do? And it's like, no, like it's way more than that. You know what I'm saying? It's you guys are dropping the credit score of battle rap every event because I'm gonna be honest with you, it's way easier for me to get it. <laughs> it's way. Bro, I mean, all right, all right, let me ask you we this, be right? sliding <laughs> messages away. Yo, I got the link. Nah, like, I'm gonna click one of these links. You keep playing with me, wait, man. Wait, hold up. Wait. I was gonna say, 
If you want to see an event, is it difficult for you to see? No. <laughs> no it is not. Here it I ain't come, difficult. Being dumb. It ain't like, difficult. Nah, no, nah, I want the crisp quality of the video. I'm going to pay the $30 because I want to see it on my screen. <laughs> when I know a nigga is streaming it. Never. Yeah, you, it's, not, it's not hard to see. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's not hard for me yeah. and hard to see. They send, <laughs> send them Jones with no problem. They like, no hey, hesitation. Man. They send it just for the conversation. And then, <laughs> just for you to be like, like, thanks, man. Hey, man. <laughs> nah, man, I'm not about to do that. I know I ain't paying the five. I ain't paying the five. For the, I'm not paying to join under these joints. But I'm saying, if if money is tight and I get a link, and my alternative is to to go, uh, uh, you know, overdraft my account to to rap it. I ain't even got to be close to overdraft. <laughs> the fact that a lot of this shit is going the way it's going, yeah. niggas is not showing up. It's one round is disguised as three. I ain't got time to be paying for that shit. So I'm gonna just go ahead and click this link. I'm just gonna go ahead and click this link. Alright, we out. I can put that 50 on the out. It was, it was, it's getting me where I need to go. I yeah. can't do it. Um, so, I, but the question that I, I ask, you know, and this is not like a public service announcement, but this question is for all of the true battle rap fans, for the guys and the ladies that are out there that have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars for all of these pay-per-view events and there have been no shows my thing is you know i ain't got no problem spending money on an event especially if the event is going to be great mm -hmm. but you know what i can't you know what i will really fight to get my money back for sure. wasted time mm -hmm. stop wasting my time mm -hmm. I'll, I'll pay if, if it's going to be enough but how much is your time really worth mm -hmm. That's the real question. Uh, Y'all answer that, but let's keep and, it going. You know, the thing is, a lot of the time, I think it's the prank that the leagues be knowing. You know what I'm saying? That the person's not coming. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like Chris on Bias was saying, you got you got flights. You got hotels. If a nigga don't check into the hotel, he don't catch his flight. I don't think he's here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be saying... We 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 pushing this battle back. We gonna see if we still gonna make it. If the nigga ain't make his flight, he ain't making the battle. You know what I'm saying? The way the airlines work. <laughs> if you don't know, the way the airlines works is if you miss your flight, you gotta stand by, pay a fee, and you're not flying with like you can't miss a flight at eight o'clock and then be on at nine o'clock unless you have one no. of the busiest airports in the world. You gotta be at like JFK to catch some lucky shit. Look like at that, that, like a three thirty. Yeah, <laughs> four fifteen. You know what I'm saying? You might be seven hours pushed, man. Like, that's crazy. So, um, I think as fans, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was saying earlier in my joint, I said, look, leagues got the right to do whatever they want to do. Fans got the right to do what they want to do. But when fans do what they want to do, I don't want to hear shit about it. Listen, I, listen at, they, at this point, can you blame some of them? No. You know? But uh, moving along, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to everybody out there, you know what I'm saying? Moving along. Um, no. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You are released Gnome, you know what I'm saying? You got uh, Loaded Lux versus Rum Nitty, Geechee Gotti versus Fonz, T-Top versus uh, Danny Myers, mm. Tay Rock versus Jerry West, Miss Hustle versus Swamp, Jazz Rap versus Coffee Brown. Mm. I'll start with Tay Rock mm. versus Jerry West. Tay Rock been recently getting off some cards. Smart, too. I don't blame you, gangster, because I tell you what. A loss on Gnome or getting smoked on Gnome because you was battling on mom and pop leagues is going to hit different. Mm -hmm. That don't that don't feel the same. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, I could, you can recap them smaller <laughs> leagues. Listen, you might be lucky they do 5,000, 10,000. You, I recap you on Gnome. Yeah, it's about 25, 50, something like that. You know, I mean, you know, I'm not paying attention. I just watch. But, you know. It's gonna go up there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> can you fault uh, can you fault Rock? I don't. I I think for Tay Rock, this is one where they're, they're gonna go. Oh, you moving to GoPro? So listen, it, hear me out. Tay Rock has had a perfect uh, 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 battle rap career, and we haven't seen him stumble or slip as much as he has this these past couple times. And the only reason why this is happening because the nigga That's battled true. a nigga two days ago or a week prior. He literally has a battle every other week, so. And then in the battles that he's having, I didn't mean to cut you, but the battles that he's having, he's got long rounds, it's like four minutes, five minutes, he's six minutes. He's short rounds. Now. So you go, no, on. you're right. I'm just saying. So the material ain't watered down. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like he's missing on these joints. He's still being second round rock, even though this is final exam type rock. Like this is a a, a cram before the final exam type rock. 
where it just seems like he's just trying to knock all of the, the battles out in one full year. Slow down, man, and I don't mind that happening right now because I wouldn't mind watching J, uh, Tay Rock sit down versus J2. No offense to J2. Maybe Ishna's not ready for that right now. You know what I'm saying? It's not ready for that at the moment. But you know who is ready for that right now? Jerry West. You know, you know what happened the last time Jerry West was on stage? He's battling a rapper that was that was had battle fatigue. Like he was battling like every other week. He was battling the two on twos and stuff like that. And what, what, what? Oh. And that's, I'm just saying, you know. So Tay Rock understood that and said, you know what? Let me actually hone. Let me actually uh, hone in the skills for Jerry West. I think this is gonna be a good battle. I still got two. I still got. I still got Rock two one. Mm -hmm. As of right now, I, I, the, the for Jerry, I, I be saying it all the time. All you gotta do is survive, my guy. Survive. You are going up against another goat, another puncher. Survive. If you survive, you can win. The, you can win this two one two. Yeah, but you know the thing is, uh, Rock been on a bunch of gnomes before. You know what I'm saying? He knows the area, knows the ropes. Wes doesn't have that kind of experience at a high level. Rock has had more high level battles in one year mm -hmm. than Jerry West has probably had in a career. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at that, <laughs> just saying, when you look at that. I mean, in different levels for yeah, sure. Yeah, so when you look at that, that, that disparity in correspondence to their careers, mm -hmm. it's like there's a separation. Now, what Jerry West does have is impact in Lines that hit right there on the spot, mm -hmm. and then he has the antics. You know what I'm saying? And then he's gonna the sound effects and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. If he plays it right, I'm sure he can make a haymaker. Jerry West is not a good. He's a very good like name flipper. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, being able to 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 com use different things to to skip off names and things like that. He's a very flashy puncher. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, he's not a fast puncher but he punches fast enough you know what i'm saying yeah when i'm saying fast he's not the fastest puncher like mm -hmm. he's not gonna run any punch back to back to back to back to right back. but jerry west can go a couple bars a couple pockets and build ups you know what i'm saying he he's not a four bar, bar. Yeah. he has a four bar but it's kind of special because the way he can go he can quick fast whiplash mm -hmm. and then he, you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. he can get there and he's not as animated as say a lou castro because when some mcs get way too animated it takes it deviates from the uh, actual from the actual bars, from the actual bars. Mm -hmm. but in 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 his in Jerry West's regard, it's like he does just enough of everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and yeah. not too little of anything. You know what I'm saying. Like he's not a great rebuttal. He doesn't rebuttal much, but he but he has. I've seen him do it before, mm. but he can. Um, but Rock is a staple, you know, warlord, and you know he can just he, like the way that Jerry West can name flip and do all that. Rock can do the same thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like anything Jerry can do, Rock can do better. Yeah, said he's stressed. Yeah, he, yeah, he can go freaking mm -hmm. 35 bars with said he's stressed mm -hmm. and then end it with logo, did that, Jerry went, and it'll be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I ain't want to say no bars because I don't want nobody to say anything, you know but I had a fire one in my mind. I ain't going to tell you. But anyway. But not to mention, you also got Jerry Runs being a name flipper. I mean, how many Rock flips are out there? Not many. Not many. That's the challenge for Jerry. It's like you got you. It's gonna be hard. All right, so we can't use rock. So we're gonna do a lot of bat flips. Are we gonna do a lot right. of tape mm -hmm. flips? Like like there's right, other right, things right. that Jerry could be doing. But maybe he just might attack the fact that he's been you you tired. Mm -hmm. I think the angle is you tired. <laughs> <laughs> you tired, nigga. You <laughs> take a nap. <laughs> um. So who you got winning? You so you, so you, I got tape rock too. Tay Rock 2-1. Who you got? I got Rock 2-1. That's mm -hmm. a safe bet. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's a safe bet. It's the same. Mm. Uh, Geechee Gotti vs. Fonz, man. Start me off. What's up with it, man? Man, listen. I don't know what Fonz did to get Geechee Gotti other than be well-deserving of a heavy puncher and of and of deserving of a gnome battle again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, Fonz has been putting in that work as far as battling, but... You know, the, him versus Charlie? Did, did he? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. Fonz to me needs a definitive win, and I don't think he's gonna get that win against Geechee Gotti because Geechee Gotti has the thing where he really don't be losing. Mm -hmm. He make Geechee don't. Geechee right now is in that little pocket right now where he don't lose, but he not winning by a wide margin either. 
Mm-hmm. Like you could debate the Geechee battles as of yet. Like, is he really is he really into this right now? And for him to go against Fonz, that's a little bit different. To me, this is a this is a toss up depending on the preference. Mm-hmm. Cause you it, a lot of landlord flips, but not but Geechee's not a land like he's not a name flipper like that. Yeah. So you not gangster or what what type of hoods you got in Cleveland? Like is that what type of angle we going with there? Whereas Fonz Geechee is a hard thing to flip. Like I don't, I Geechee is the only thing I know that it's a language. Like it's a, it's a, that's how you talk. But I never really called somebody Geechee or he got a Geechee leg. Mm-hmm. Or so flips. Like I'm trying to think of different angles for Fonz to clearly get this win. But if Geechee got it, does what he's normally been doing. I got Geechee got it two one. Right. <laughs> um, there's no substitute for hard work, right? And I say that in reference to Geechee's career, career-wise, right? Um, if he's on a lot of these cards moving forward, it's going to be against people who are earning shots because yeah. he's battled damn near everyone already. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, he's one of the few that's like, yo, Lux did that already. Moot did that already. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rock battled already. Surf battled already. Verb. You know what I'm saying? Verb battled already. <laughs> Hitman, he's not going to get him because where does that ever going to happen? But if you go down the list, Shine already happened. Ars already happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, Goods already happened. <laughs> like, it's just so many battles that he's already had. Big K already battled him. You know what I mean? Like, and that was what yeah, happened before. Trust mm-hmm. me, it did a minute ago. Nitty battled him already. A Ward battled him twice. So, battled for, Nitty like three times. Yeah, he battled him. <laughs> <all the time. laughs> like, so, 150 times. Um, so, I say that to say this. Uh, What's going to be Fonz's biggest look is another day at the office for the Geechee. Mm. With that being said, um, while Geechee's supposed to win and should win, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, Fonz is definitely going to be on one because where the place, the, the, the Continental Suite where you've got comfortable getting your breakfast served to you, you know, you get your feet up, you get mm. the newspaper read and all this other stuff. This is my first day at the hotel. You've been here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And here's the last part I want to say. Fonz, I feel like is hungry, right? Mm-hmm. If you think back, think back, oh yeah, college days, you know what I'm saying, first job days when you have a lot of bread days, right? If you had a certain amount of money <clears throat> and if you made a play and the play didn't go right, you might not eat tonight. That hunger is way different than somebody who's paid, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying, they've been around, you know what I'm saying? If I'm not gonna eat tonight, you're gonna take your bread way ser- way yeah. more serious than you would somebody who's been here already, you know All what right. I'm saying? Not but with you. that being said, it's known. Uh Gishi Gotti's probably the trusted hand in regards to this, so I would I'd be cool with a two one edging his way. But Fonz, uh he could easily win this battle. The hunger the hunger definitely can can overcome the uh the luxury, I should say. Speaking of the hunger, T Top versus Danny Myers. Now, normally you know what I'm saying? This would be one of those battles where, you know, you could kind of like easily pick. But there's so many variables because Danny Myers, you know what I'm saying? He gets crazy in small rooms, you know what I'm saying? If it was a big stage, I automatically pick t Top. No questions asked, we ain't next battle, you mm. know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, t Top's been in a little, a crazy-ass bag recently. Danny did some promo for Gnome, you know what I'm saying? Um, what you think about this battle? I really feel like this battle gonna be two one either way. Is this is the this is the toss up battle for me of this of this battle? But it's a different reason why I have it as a toss up. It's because yes, T Top has been smoking shit as of right now. Um, maybe the past couple of battles, people might have been looking at T Top like, oh, that was a layup, or maybe it was a little easy work for him. And you know, he's not he, he, like T Top's past two opponents aren't slouches, but they were caught lacking, mm. right? So with that, is that T-Top's fault? Because he still had to have three, four rounds and actually rap, right? Right. You going up against somebody who always has three rounds. You are going up against somebody who's always on ten. You looking at somebody who's always going to out-bar, out-rap, out-battle rap you. And that is Danny Myers. Do I guarantee this is a win for Danny Myers? No. Because Danny Myers has this one thing that T-Top... Uh, T- uh, Danny Myers lacks this one thing that T-Top actually has. Mm. And that is that aura. That mm-hmm. believability effect, that that feeling of, hmm, why is it that he's more convicting than, like, why is he rapping with more conviction than the actual person who's rapping with the full tenacity and capacity? You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, 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 I'm sick in the mind, but this is mine, but I got this with fine, but this, like, that type of stuff is dope, but t top be like, man, that shit, I ain't heard nothing he just said. Yeah. Like, and that would hit. So, 
Two one either way. I, I, you you could pick one. You pick one, then I picked up. Uh, so for me, uh, Danny Meyer's weakness is as the stage gets bigger, his expectation versus what's delivered dissipates. You know what I'm saying? It happens. It's happened. The bigger the stage, you put Daniel Summer Madness. I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. If I give you the sex. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if you put him on small room, ballroom, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there, He'll yeah. be burning down. Mac Myron is a classic performance, you know what I'm saying? He beat that so, ass. If you put him in small room, ballroom, he going he gonna to work for you. Mm -hmm. um, T-top, three-level star. I mentioned this in another blog. He can beat you in a small room. He can beat you on one of those little, mm -hmm. little gate. He can go against a garden and win if he needs to. Mm -hmm. He can win in a volume room, and he can damn sure win on a big stage. Uh, with that being said, I got T-Top 2-1, man. All right, okay. Well, in that case, I got Danny Myers 2-1. Well, all right. Barga! Hey. Um, Jazz the Rapper versus Coffee Brown. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. We immediately What's up, man? We clicking and dumping? What's up with it? I got this battle 2-1 either way. Either. Mm. I, 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 neither, neither one can lose and neither one is going to just easily win mm -hmm. i feel like like and like what are we what are we talking about here Vada? like mm -hmm. what are we talking about are we talking about consistency both of them got it mm -hmm. are we talking about star power both of them got it are we talking about stage presence and actual conviction in their bars mm -hmm. coffee has it by a slight edge but you know who jazz has battled that has way more conviction mm -hmm. and yet she came out with the W? Mm -hmm. Miss Hustle. Mm -hmm. You know who the fight is? This fight is technically for, for second and third, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, they both of them, is it the winner of this gets hustled? Because if that's the case, Jazz already got hustled and already beat hustled, so why would she even want to do this again? Coffee this, was battle too. And, see, and yeah, it was so, went left. So, so what exactly is this battle about? Other than, I think I'm a better rapper than you. I think it is for the uh, supremacy of female battle rap, you know what I'm saying? That one individual that's in the spot, top spot that could be regulated as such, because when you think about it, right? Um, Coffee Brown, phenomenal MC, Jazz the Rapper is dope too. But Jazz the Rapper got some strong suits, you know what I'm saying? She has a better cadence than um, Coffee. Mm. Uh, she can, she her flow, her actual flow, like the pockets of flows and delivery mm. that she, her delivery is better. Mm. Um, but Coffee has ways that she has um, um, advantages too. She has a better presence, you know what I'm saying, as far as like her presence is felt. Mm -hmm. That when she start doing that, ain't nothing lady like about me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She can gravitate and grab crowds, and, and, and Coffee can really get into some different moods. Now, if the battle's on a big stage, I would pick Jazz and we can go to the next battle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because Jazz, Coffee Brown to me, has has solidified herself as a female MC, mm. uh, high regard, done it all, one on a high level. But that last key component to becoming a superstar is translating on a big stage, you mm. know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's gotta be part of it, right. you know what I'm saying? You can go only so high in battle rap mm -hmm. if you can't deliver on a big stage, you know right. what I'm saying? Like you can get to a certain level, but once you get to that big level, when it's a big show, if they can't put you on a card, are you really a star? So anyway, um. Back to jazz. Um, jazz, you know what I'm saying, like like witty, capable MC, you know what I'm saying, doesn't choke, you know what I'm saying, she has a slight stumble and jump, big K. Mm -hmm. uh, Coffee's not really known for choking either, you know what I'm saying. These two are going to be like letting two pit bulls off the leash in the cage, and you know what, I haven't said anything, but I got a 2-1 either way, I'm going to have to see it, man. Yeah. I don't want to go too far, divulge yeah. into it, and take away any um, spice on the rice, you know what I'm saying. But uh, This reminds me of another known battle where the ladies ended up being the battle of the night, you know mm -hmm. who known that was? Mm -hmm. Jazz vs. Official. Mm -hmm. so. And that's a dog fight. Swamp versus Miss Hustle, what's up, man? I got Swamp. Uh, uh, yeah, I got Swamp winning this battle. Um, beating Verb is not an easy task, mm -hmm. even though I there are people who... I got Swamp winning this one. I, I don't know. Like it, Beating Verb is not an easy task, even though there's a couple people that can say that they beat Verb, and the person that he's standing in front of has also beaten Verb. So I'm just saying it's not an easy task. Mm -hmm. Once... You've done that. The only thing that you can look at is okay. Now that I done beat the wordsmith or the, the the all of that talk, now I gotta get my lick back 
for the ladies. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, Butterfly, I'm gonna recap this to say Swamp earned that, or Swamp got that redemption. Mm -hmm. Swamp gonna have to slap a lady up, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real. And why not slap one of the biggest dogs in that in that park? And Miss Hustle, who is number one in the park right now, mm -hmm. she out here barking. Now, do I think that uh, Swamp is gonna be 100% uh, clean? Ah, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the big question. But I'm also now thinking about that on Hustle side too. Hustle don't be losing. Only she beats herself if she slips up or stumbles or something like that. Me personally, I don't like all of the bumping that she that she does, but hey, it works for her, right? And the bars is there. So for me to pick Swamp 2-1, I'm just saying it ain't gonna be an easy fight, because that is not a it's not a, it's not an easy task mm -hmm. to beat Hustle. But I got Swamp in this one too. Yeah, I'm, it's good to see Swamp on the card, you know what I'm saying, as a reward for the verb battle, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying, he's battling Hustle, you know what she does, you know what I mean? So it's going to be interesting. I do got Swamp 2-1, you know what I'm saying, ish. And yeah. we'll take it from there. Last but not least, Loaded Lux versus Realm Needy. The floor is yours. I need to know what's up with it, man. What's up with it? Don't get stuck with it. Man, I need somebody. To, I'm, I'm, matter of fact, don't even pinch me. Don't even pinch me because I don't believe it's going down until I see these two get on this stage. I know nobody don't show. I know, I know there nobody don't show. But what happens is I don't want to give up any expectation. I don't want to give up any hype. Have y'all seen Multiverse of Madness? Did y'all see uh, uh, what was the damn uh, Quantum Mania? Huh? Any of those fans like that? There's only one show that really was like kind of good this year. You know what I'm saying? It was the X Men. You gotta see X Men '97. Was really good. The reason why I'm saying that is the things that we were looking forward to. Some of those things disappoint us. So if I go into this battle with an empty palette, like I don't think I have any expectation in this battle, I will then be wild and overwhelmed with excitement. Mm -hmm. But if I gotta make an actual prediction. I still got Rum Nitty 2-1. One reason being, Rum Nitty ain't battled all year. And that is a scary thing. Cause you do know he was battling literally every other month. I mean every month last year. And he was giving us that type of material. And I do believe that Rum Nitty has one of the best pins in the game as far as punching, as far as gun lines, as far as lyricism. I do think that Rum Nitty is the new one. He is the anointed one. But the thing about battle rap is the gods don't die. The god pins don't die and they will never retire. So Loaded Lux is back outside and let me tell you something. He, he looked like he was very comfortable when we, when we linked up when we was talking on Fox 5. He looked very comfortable then. He was healthy then. This might be hopefully Lux's best performance since his resurgence uh, other than the, the Calico situation. Because I'm going to say that because he has a lot to stand for, like the choking um, from the last battle and the last event. Yeah. Uh, oh, Lux nice. has <clears throat> Lux has a multitude of hurdles that he's gonna have to jump over in this battle, because when you think about from the just basic level battler for battler, Rum Nitty has like. 22 and 5 on the app or something crazy like yeah. that. I don't know a specific number, but it's up there. You know? yeah. He's like one of the probably the top person on there, right? Mm -hmm. So he wins in a lot. You know what I mean? Very few battles that he loses. And the ones that he does lose, they're usually debatable, right? Right. So you got that. The more congestible material is going to be Rum Nitty. You know what I'm saying? You know what he's coming with. Punches. You know what I mean? Now, my thing is. I want to see how Romney is going to be able to encapsulate his style and use it to go at such a definitive writer like a loaded luck, someone mm -hmm. who's writing for your soul, someone who's writing who uses angles heavily. Now, when the shoe is on the other foot, I look at it like what's loaded luck's going to do against Romney because Romney's not a person with a lot of angles. You know what I'm saying? Like you know he got kids. You know he's day hustle. Like what are you going to say? Like everything you're going to say, not what are you going to say? Like he battled a couple of different leagues. So what? Like this? What can you? Like the the uh, the T top yeah. shit was like a fucking the T top uh, the Walmart yeah that was like a fucking anomaly like that don't happen every day you know, you know what I'm saying like right. you're not gonna get those off every day you know what I'm saying like you gotta you gotta work hard to come up with that kind of angle is what I'm saying and even that kind of angle did not end rum nitty you know what I'm saying so what I'm saying is with somebody who doesn't have a lot of angles it'll be very interesting to see what loaded lux brings because. 
he's so heavily angle based. Yeah. Now, if Loaded Lux is able to start fast and get reaction and really have good material that's catered to Nitty, mm -hmm. it could be pretty interesting. Yeah. But from the bypass, a lot of people looking at it would automatically say Rum Nitty Two One. But I want to go with Lux for the sake of conversation for the. I told you so if I'm wrong type mm -hmm. deal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to accept that. Yeah. And, and, and the old head in me has just that last that little bit <laughs> of faith. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? a little bit. So I run with New York for this one. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? The Nets wearing shit. The Knicks got killed. The Giants have Daniel Jones. So I got to run with New York for something. You know what I'm <laughs> Well, let's yeah. keep the conversation going sure. because the 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 real because now that it's actually about to happen or about to uh, about to uh, yeah we about to watch this. Do you think that this battle itself is worth eighty dollars itself? Huh? Huh? I'm just I'm just saying how much would you pay for this battle is what I'm asking. You. How much would you, uh, do you do you think that no 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 I didn't say the event the battle that battle that this, battle. This, this battle if you just wanted to pay for just this battle. I wouldn't pay it out. Okay. Hell no. <laughs> so I said, what? Like, nigga, you know what? Is there other options? I didn't say, can I just can select? I can I my nigga Juan gone? <laughs> get, can I holler at my nigga Juan gone and give me something? Can I holler at Juan? You got that link? You got that link? Can I holler at Juan gone? Can I give him Juan? Let, nah. let me see what Juan he tell I, me first. I, I, I was, I'm only asking that to say is because I think that out of everybody, you know, the, the, neither one of them has, has really promoted like that. I mean, we had you know Lux, you know, uh, talk about it. Uh, no trailer. You know what I'm saying? We there's no trailer for that. I saw the. I mean, Nitty was talking about it like what in the beginning of the year when he was doing the what Lux was preparing for Lux. He did that. But in a battle of this magnitude, with no trailer. Like no, crazy. no, no face off. No, no nothing. Like we ain't got nothing. I'm not. I'm not trying I'm to sound. Decent, I'm not trying to sound spoiled, but. These are things that I, you know, if, if there's anything that I would like to see face off sub, I, this would probably be one of them. Well, Lux is not really, let me see if he put it on his, on his, on his Instagram, at least he's not really promoting the ballot that much. And if he is, it's not loud enough. It's not, I mean, because even when we saw Loaded Hollows was being featured, I mean, you saw them two on the rooftop and they started, and they even started a mute thing. Like, they, it was because of them, everybody was doing the. Yeah, he doesn't. He's got it. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, that's like I'm not saying the battle not happen. It's just I, how focused are we? Like, are we that focused? Are we that much focused? Where only thing we want to see is this battle. You know, I kind of wanted a little bit more of a of a build up to it. You know, and and, and my last uh, my last question mm -hmm. for you is, does this field know me? Is this know me? Not this battle, because this battle definitely know me. But is this whole event know me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, because you got Loaded Lux versus Rum Nitty. Any card that Loaded Lux on, you know what I'm saying, automatically is of that caliber. So right. I would, I would definitely say that. Yeah, 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 it is. Mm. Um, it's you. And the thing is, I wanted to say this uh, in another joint, but that never crossed my mind. Mm. We cannot be one. We cannot be uh, politicians who sit here and campaign for the Danny Myers of the world, the Jerry Wests of the world all year. Then they get on cards and we're like, well, why are they there? You know what I'm saying? Like, That's you fair. can't have it both ways. That's you know what I'm saying? That's very I've fair. definitely done blogs saying mm -hmm. Jerry West needs wow. to be on bigger cards, Danny Mine needs to be on, and then Swamp too. Uh -huh. So all three people that I've personally said things uh, positively about, hmm. I can't be like, oh, what are they doing on the card? It's yeah. gonna be contradictory. You know that what I'm saying? So for me, yes, the answer is yes. Hmm. It is no me. Um, if the especially if the MCs deliver, um, there's some people that if I think hard enough, I would have been like, well, you know, maybe this person or that person, you know, what I'm saying Av being one, mm -hmm. because you would think that Av to um, truncate his performance on Summer Madness versus right about rock on Summer Madness. Yeah. Normally, you would shoot one if you get on Summer Madness to be on Gnome, you know what I'm saying? But you know, he um, he's subbing in for Rock. Yeah, cause Rock can't. Rock's not Rock, battling J two, yeah, and I'm not mad. Like some people, like I meant to say this earlier. Mm -hmm. I've seen people saying, "Oh, Rock, 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 bro, Rock battle every single week. If he's not battling for a week, I ain't mad at it. You know what I'm saying? Or two weeks, I ain't mad at it. Cause you go to know him, you get smoked, and you know the, the title gonna be right under there. Right. The Rock, title gonna be, mm -hmm. yeah, it's gonna be here. Rock got smoked by the, by uh, <laughs> by Jerry West. So. You gotta take what's important. You know what I'm saying? Give them people their money back. Do good business. You they should anybody who really, really rocks with battle rap should understand why he did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now it's unfortunate. It's gonna be just a one round and now verse Av, but you know they gotta conform and move on. But still a good battle. Now back to Loaded Lux versus um, Rum Nitty. Um, 
I think that um, Loaded Lux is going to have the uphill battle because Rum Nitty's material is very digestible. I've seen him in those same fucking rooms, him versus Twerk, him versus, you know, I can name 10 battles that he's had in these rooms. And number one, he ain't never the underdog. Two, he ain't never predicted to damn near lose. He predicted to win almost every time. Number three, he ain't gonna be up there choking and forgetting this shit. Now, he may have a little slippy blippy every day, but it happens, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I don't look at him as an artist who I'm asking myself, is he gonna make it through his rounds? You know what I'm saying? I ain't asking that either. So. I don't ever think about, oh, is Rum Nitty gonna show up? Yeah, I'm not asking. <laughs> that, so, I think that, uh, I just, I just kind of wish. I, maybe I just feel like maybe no, it needed just a little bit more of a, of a promotion. Like you well, know, what yeah, I mean? it's like the, 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 the drops is cool, but. But here's the thing: it's hard to get MCs to promote when they battle every fucking week. You know what I'm saying? Like, how much intense promotion is somebody gonna give you who's got to battle next week? <laughs> next week now too, like. Oh yeah, this is the grudge match I've been waiting for. Nigga, you got two more battles in the next two weeks. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> or, I mean, that you know, or... They got another battle the next day. Like, what's he gonna say? This is the grudge of my life? <laughs> or, or you'll get the one where they do, if they do uh -oh. do it, they make them do the video. They'll be like, yo, Crazy. it's going down on the third on June, June 7th everybody come out yeah. we gonna be at the Sugar Shack I'm gonna kill this 305 it's like they're reading this shit <laughs> as they say 305 West Broad Avenue <laughs> I'm gonna be there mm -hmm. SP's gonna be yep. with me like you people you know what I'm saying Drinks at the door. Drinks at the door. You Drinks know what I'm the saying. Door. They gonna hand you a beverage as soon as you walk in. It's gonna be great. And they cook it. <laughs> wings in the bathroom tonight. Oh, what? what? Who wrote this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah. But seriously, peep this. Real shit though. I, I, I kind of want a little bit more. Like, you know, you know who? The, all right. And I'm gonna say it like this. You know, the only person who brought their homework, they literally did work. Jerry West. The nigga had a trick. He had a cameraman shoot. He put on a Red Hood outfit. He There was lines. Like, there was cinematic stuff in his trailer. You know what I'm saying? For that trailer to be that fire, for just Rock to just do a video in his living room. <laughs> Egregious. Egregious. Oh, shit. Just hey, say man. I wanted a little bit more. All promo is not created equal. This it's, is true. It's, it's, shout out to him. Shout out to them. Well, um, it's, like I said, there's some more events that's coming up too. You know what I'm saying? We'll get to them and break them down in the coming days and months. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully um, everything is back to normal. Because like I said, all of those no-shows that, that are on these lists are too problematic. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're dealing with a, a service-based community you purchase a product like i said i'm not going to a restaurant order a hamburger they bring tacos out and say at least we fed you like, fuck i look like <laughs> that was a good what? <laughs> at least I, at least we fed you that's not the fuck i wanted what do you mean at least we fed you like, and, I, and you know i be looking dumb too because i be paying for, i be paying for these payments. and food. i pay for the food i gotta pay for the food <laughs> <laughs> but I pay like yeah. Oh, here's your no, here's we your uh, that. we can't do that. Here's your bill, sir. No, we gonna do this ain't, that. ain't none of this on this on this bill that, that yeah. I ordered. It's like a nigga they take the bill from the table next to you and give it to you like oh well we just fucked <laughs> pay up forward. today. You know what I'm pay it forward. Pay it forward. <laughs> I want what I asked for. Oh, shit, like, I still I didn't get my limit. I know you ain't ordered this, <laughs> but just be happy we gave you something to drink. Like <laughs> nah, it's not working like that. So nah. you know. It is what it is, man. We'll see. Hopefully, everything gets back to the norms of the norms, man. But, you know, gang, gang. This weekend battle rap. Right?